Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2010 is sponsored by Data Robotics, the makers of Drobo and Drobo S, the world's best data storage experience. This is Mac Voices TV on the show floor at Macworld 2010 in San Francisco. I'm Chuck Joyner, and we are in the Buffalo Technology booth talking to Brian Verenkoff about Dooley. Brian, welcome to Mac Voices TV. Thank you. Thank you for having us. It's, it's a pleasure to, uh, to do this. We got a chance to chat at the media reception the other night, and I got to see Dooley, and I wanted to make sure the uh, viewers got to see it, too. It's a very cool little product. Yeah, we're, we're really excited about this product. It's definitely new for us. Uh, it's the first time we made a product uh, really exclusively targeted towards the Apple market. It's pretty impressive. The, the booth has been quite busy every time we've tried to get by. We finally found a little lull to sneak in and see you. Yeah, the feedback we're getting is great. People are really into it, so the show's been worthwhile. So tell us about Dooley. Well, it's a really unique device. Uh, it's, it's nothing else out there like it. Uh, but it does start with a pretty basic device, which is going to be a 500 gigabyte portable hard drive. You would use this just like you'd use any other portable hard drive. It does have USB 2.0 and FireWire 800 connections on it. Um, you can use this for time machine backup. You can use this for your digital photos. Just about anything you would use a normal portable drive for. That's not necessarily the unique part of the product. Um, the dual dock is where you know the uniqueness comes in. Um, there are people who make uh, you, you know portable hard drive docks, and there are people who make iPhone, iPod docks, but we're the first to put it together. Uh, simply put, there's a spot in the dock for the uh, hard drive, and then there's also a spot in the uh, dock for an iPhone. Sorry, we're going to have to bring the real one. And uh, when you plug it in, it begins charging. We have a single USB connection plugged into your Mac. That you can access both the uh, hard drive and iPhone simultaneously. So you can be doing an iTunes sync or iTunes backup, as well as a time machine backup simultaneously, all using a single USB connection. Also, on the back, there's two more USB ports. So you can plug in a USB mouse, for example, or maybe a digital camera. And again, using that single connection to your uh, MacBook, you have all four of your devices hooked up. So really designed to make your desktop clean, to give you a charging station and a, and a time machine backup station or a USB hard drive back, you know, station, all with a single USB connection. I can see this living on my desk so much nicer and easier than what I have now because we all want to be able to plug our iPhone in and charge it while we're in the office and then dash out. We all would like to have access to some storage and things. So you've just given me a nice little USB hub, a nice portable hard drive to take data with me if I need to as I grab my iPhone to run out the door. Exactly, and you know, in this world of uh, ever decreasing number of USB ports on these, you know, incredibly like thin, like MacBook Air, beautiful device, but because of its size, it only has one USB port. So you'd have to get a USB hub or something like that. This is just sort of that one-stop solution for that Apple customer. Brian. Um, Obviously, this fits an iPhone. It'll fit uh, what? Uh, any any iPod? Yeah, it comes with uh, not really well laid out here, but we give you all the dock adapters. So iPod Touch, iPhone, iPhone 3G, 3GS, uh, iPod Nano, fourth generation, iPod Classic. Uh, it does use a standard dock adapter, um, so you can actually get another dock adapter, which the Apple Store does sell, um, and it would be future proof so long as that uh, eye connector never changes. The other thing, and I think I said this to you the other night, I, I see a lot of docks and different things, but this one, I don't have to pull my phone out of its case. It, it allows me to use a lot of different cases and just drop it in there and go. So I'm, that's not another piece laying on my desk waiting for me to pick it up, put it back together, and leave. Yeah, it has a good design. You know, there's a, good, a lot of good support on it. In this particular case, I just took the dock adapter out um, and to make it fit with the case. But uh, it's something I do with a lot of Apple devices. But you know, this this is the one I use at my office in this exact configuration with the with the end case on it. So it's uh, very nice. You said 500 gig hard drive. Is this a 5400 or 7200? 5400 RPM hard drive. Back behind both USB 2.0 and FireWire 800. Okay, so it's going to be a backup drive more than a performance drive, but that's what it's there for. Exactly. I mean, most external drives, uh, you know, the USB speed or the FireWire speed is slower than the, the hard drive speed. So. Uh, 7200 RPM, when it's going inside of a computer, in, in the SAT interface, a little bit more important. Uh, for here, you know, you want a re reliable, lower power usage, so it's not going to suck your battery down as much. The price point is? It's $249 for both the uh, drive and the dock, and we do give you uh, extra cables, like travel cables, so, you know, you can leave the dock hooked up at your office, and then we just, you know, grab the hard drive on the fly, and we already give you a travel USB cable to go with it. It's already in your briefcase, so you're ready to go. When you get back, Pop it in, you're ready to go. 
and it's dockable, so it just drops down, clicks, yep. you're done. Yep. Just push it, and it basically kind of clicks. <laughs> where do we go to learn more about it, and where do we go to buy it? Uh, the best place to learn about it is uh, buffalotech.com, which uh, so, like, can be seen, but uh, www.buffalotech.com is our featured product, so for the time being at least, it is on, uh, front and center on our page. Also, it is for sale uh, at the Apple Store, so you can talk to the associates about it there, or go to the Apple Online Store and find more material on it. And it's sold exclusively at the Apple Store for the time being. Congratulations for getting it in the Apple Store. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's our first product in there. We're really excited, and uh, we've, it's been a, well, a warm reception from both uh, customers and Apple, so excited about it. Well, it's good to see you at Macworld uh, 2010. It's, uh, again, I hope it's been a good show for you. Uh, I hope so, and I hope we come back with uh, future innovative products like Dooley in uh, the 2011, 2012, see what, uh, see what the, cards, uh, the cards have for us. We'll look forward to it. All right. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Brian. It's good to see you. Take care. Thank you. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices TV in San Francisco. We'll be back with more from the show floor very soon. Thanks for watching. Mac Voices TV at Macworld 2010 is sponsored by Data Robotics, the makers of Drobo and Drobo S, the world's best data storage experience. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group and a member of Mac Level 10.